South Darrenth, near Dartford in Kent, is the site of the Farningham Homes for Little Boys. Rupert is meeting local historian Malcolm Scott. So this is all that's left of the home for little boys? Yes, just the uh, old boys' lodge, as it's known on the corner here, mm. and then the chapel in front of us. And how big was it? Um, they took about 300 boys in total. Really? And they built houses, uh, individual houses, that would, were homes to up to 30 boys. And the, is this what it used to look like? This is what your grandfather would have seen, no doubt, when he arrived. Oh, the gruesome gates. With the lodge on the right-hand side, the chapel in front, and the spire, which was lost in the 1987 hurricane. My goodness. And here's a view taken from the south side of the homes, where you can see the individual houses. God, it looks grim. The Farningham homes had a strong Christian ethos, and the chapel was at the centre of the boys' daily routine. And this area is where the Old Boys Association has put together an archive of the history of the homes. So these would have been um, probably from the earlier days of this century. This will give you some idea of the uniform that your grandfather would have worn. Mm. Uh, white celluloid collars, mm -hmm. which probably weren't the most comfortable things. I searched through the information that the old boys have mm. here, and I found a book, um, the log book of the homes for 1896. Right which does have a couple of references to your grandfather. There he is. Webster, Hill and Everett received their prizes for their... For scripture. For scripture? Yep. For scripture. Hmm. So it certainly shows that uh, he was academically inclined. We have some further information about Cyril's stay in the homes in this volume of Old Boys Journals. So here's Cyril coming back to the Old Boys Day. And there is, in fact, this photograph of the Old Boys Day group, 1905. Mm. We need a microscope. We need a microscope. I've done a... I've blown up a version. It would be interesting if you were able to see any resemblance. Um, this one looks like it could be him. Yes. I think the fact that Cyril came back for the Old Boys Day, this had been his home. Yes, he since he was three years it. old. Mm. Um, and I know some of the old boys who are still members of the Old Boys Association do did have a great deal of affection for the place. Mm. So it couldn't so. have been that bad. Yeah. Malcolm, what more can I find about how my grandfather came to be here in the first place? We were fortunate enough to find um, one of the original case books which record the admission of every boy to the homes. Oh my goodness. If we look on page 52. There he is. There he is. Number 2202, name in full, Cyril Frederick Cunningham Everett. Year and exact date of birth, 12th of June, 1886. So, what date is this? 20th? This is the date that application was received. No, 1889. So he's three years, nearly three years old. As to the parents, is father alive? If so, state address. Chief, mate, merchant, service. What does that mean? It means he was a seaman. Seaman. Oh, my God. Oh, I always thought he was a stockbroker. But he was chief, mate, merchant, service. Mother alive, if so, state. Address. 20 Porchester Terrace, Hyde Park. So how did she meet a chief mate in the Merchant Navy? Well, I'm afraid there's nothing in here that can that can tell us that. And who, were, and who was she? Can we find that? I can't find that out either, probably. Was the boy born in lawful wedlock? Yes. Give information so the character, circumstances, etc., of the boy. Father deserted and not heard of for some time. Um, how fascinating. Um, the father deserted. Well, presumably, I suppose, what's, what's happened is some young girl um, from... Porchester Terrace, um, came across a sexy chief mate and um, got in the family way. 